This presentation was offered at a meeting of the European Society for the Study of Cognitive Systems, which was held in Wadham College, Oxford, in August 2000. The uh, main theme and the title of the uh, presentation was Time and Consciousness, and the way in which these two uh, are related. I tried to summarize the main themes of the uh, presentation, Time and Consciousness, is consciousness in time or time in consciousness? Of course, our question is, what is consciousness? But first of all, what is time? Uh, time is an ancient puzzle. The pre-Socratics uh, had things to say about this. Parmenides said nothing changes. Heraclitus said there is only change. You cannot step in the same river twice. Much later, St. Augustine was puzzled. He said, everyone knows what time is until you start to think about it, and then you don't know. Uh, Bergson famously uh, attempted to explain la durée, the sense of duration of time. Karl Popper wrestled with the subject in his recent book, Parmenides. It is startling suddenly to recognize that everything is momentary. Matter, the cosmos, the world, ourselves, our brains. William James referred to the specious present. He said that the specious present is exactly that, only in appearance. In reality, our brains have only the present moment. Um, f from all this, uh, th I comment uh, th that uh, our brains, on this view, are instantaneous patterns changing from moment to moment, formed from the collection of structures, ultimately molecules, chemical elements, protons, electrons, quarks, which constitute the neural material, the material of the brain. Our past is part of our present brain. The future we expect is part of our present brain. Kant famously proposed that time and space are necessary forms under which sensation and perception are accommodated in our minds, in our brains. And he said we could have no knowledge of the ding and and sick, the things in themselves. More recently, Anthony Quinton has suggested that Kant left totally unexplained how, if we see only through time and space as arbitrary forms of intuition, we in fact manage to cope with reality, as we do obviously fairly well. Kant, unfortunately him for him, was writing before Darwin. Now, since then, we've got evolutionary epistemology, which proposes that the natural selection of brain processes has provided us with practical concepts of time and space to allow us to manage reality. So what are the implications of this view of time for our understanding of consciousness? Well, physicists and cosmologists have their own accounts of time, space, and space-time, uh, mathematical time. A theoretical f f physicist, Ju Julian Ben, recently argued that time does not exist. It may be that the idea of the momentariness of matter of the cosmos can have important consequences. Even for the most refined and elaborate cosmological and physical theories, such as quantum gravity, space foam, superstring theory, membrane theory, 